Hi everyone, in the last episode I show you how I have baked and textured this character and uh, as you can see we are in Blender in the render view and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I simply rig my characters I'm not a rigger so I uh, just use a, a base rig from the Rigify add-on from Blender and the two main difference from the last episode that you can check now it's that uh, first I have a fifth texture set that it's uh, just for the additional arms and earth that uh, share it, uh, the same smart material from the mask and uh, the other part of the character and that the character is uh, above the ground as you can see it's above the center on the ground and uh, we are going to use the rigify add-on from Blender. Before starting with the rigging process, be sure that in the preference add-on tab, you have the rigify add-on enabled. As you can see, it's for me it's already enabled. And you can click Shift A armature, and you have the option Human Meta Rig. For the scale of my scene, the skeleton is really little, so I'm going to scale it up. And uh, in order to see better what uh, I have uh, in the skeleton, you can check in front. And uh, to speed up the process of uh, adjusting the skeleton to the character, if you click M, you have uh, in the tool uh, sidebar the X axis mirror. If you check it, if you move or scale a bone, uh, it's going to scale and uh, move the, the other part in the mirror. Uh, we are going to delete some bones because we, uh, for example, we are not going to use a um, facial rig and uh, we are going to place uh, uh, the, the bones according to the character. To be sure to have a simple uh, rig without the face option, be sure in the in the wireframe to delete this little bone here in order to have just a bone for the head. You can hide some part of the character in order to see better the, the shape and place uh, correctly the bones. Another quick tip for placing uh, faster the bones is uh, if you Enable the snap here, you can uh, check for the volume snap and uh, if you click on the bones and uh, use the, the G key in order to move it, you can place the bones on the center of the mesh and uh, it's uh, really useful for example for placing the bones uh, exactly in uh, the part where it's going to bend in the finger parts. Now that we have placed the bones, we can uh, create a, a new collection just for the, the skeleton. And uh, before creating the real rig, uh, be sure to have applied all the transforms. And uh, here, in the object other properties, you can create the rig. We're going to hide the skeleton, create a new collection for the rig. And since uh, I want to uh, rig everything except for the additional arms in the in the fifth texture set, I'm going to select it, hide it. Then I select the rig, Control I in order to invert the selection. Last selection rig, Control P, and select with automatic weight. And now with the control tab, we can go in the pause mode and check if the, the rig is uh, it's working. We can do a little wibble with the arms, the, the legs. Seems that uh, everything works right. And um, we can create the, some uh, additional ports that uh, are going to be useful for the Position, for, for example, of the elbow and the knees. If uh, we check this cogwheel, we go here. And uh, you can see here the option pull vector is zero. Click one, 
and uh, you have this uh, new pole that uh, can be useful to place uh, the, the elbow and uh, you can do the same thing for the knees uh, clicking on the cogwheel here and uh, as you can see now we have uh, the poles also for the for the knees for this particular model i want to create a second rig just for the additional arm simply we are going to rename it this rig character and with the shift d we duplicate it and call it rig arms and the same thing select the arms select the rig be sure that the it's uh, the selected it's the rig arm control p with the automatic width and the control tab be sure that the pose it's working and now we, we still have the additional uh, ports for the elbow now that we have the two separated rig and uh, all the character uh, rigged we can start posing the character now i finished the pose for uh, both the additional arm and the character uh, i uh, tried this uh, pose in particular because i want the attention to go on the transparent part here in order to show off better the, the the hair transparent part that we are going to light in the, uh, later in the, in the rendering and uh, this particular model didn't need uh, uh, heavy work on the on the weight paint uh, just for uh, uh, in order to have this part of the arms uh, to to fall better i uh, do a, a little uh, weight paint we disable the ligaments you can uh, check on the on the mesh for example with the control tab with paint and uh, you can see the amount of uh, weight of the of, of each bone that you can check here and uh, if you select uh, for example a bone and with the arrow you can check all the the weight and uh, you can paint simply with the t and n side panel you can subtract and uh, draw for add uh, weight in uh, for particular bones now the fun part begins because uh, we are going to render the the scene and uh, set the lighting the fog for example and uh, since uh, i want to have a minimalistic character and a minimalistic scene I'm going to use a very simple scene as you have seen in the first uh, episode uh, just to create a, a fog and a little background and uh, first of all be sure in the edit preference you have the sun position add-on added because if you will go here in the word tab we have the sun position that it's very useful because if uh, I add the sun you can add the sun here and uh, as you can see the sun now it's moved because uh, if you move the, the distance the elevation the rotation you can have a, a more realistic uh, effect on the lighting i usually work with uh, an hdr uh, lighting now the hdr it's very high so i'm going to lower it and you can increase the strength of the, the sun in order to have the, uh, a better idea on how it works but here in the world uh, properties with the rotation you can you can see here for example you can pose me better the sun i want uh, another light in order to create a particular effect here in the inside of the character in order to show off better the, the earth so I'm going to add another light, in this case an area light. We are going to place it inside the character, increase the strength. You can exaggerate in the, in the first part of the, the rendering, just to have uh, an idea. And finally we want uh, another light here. We add another area light that we are going to place above the character. This is going to be useful now that we are going to create the fog. Uh, for uh, creating the fog, simply you can add a mesh, a cube, 
and uh, create a simple material for the fog. We delete the principal the shader and we are going to add shader, volume scatter and plug it in the scatter. As you can see now it's very dense. So we are going to decrease the density. And the uh, last thing, we are going to add a camera, alter in order to reset the, the rotation. And I usually start with a 75 uh, focal length because I found at least for me it worked better for uh, characters. You can use the composition guides to help you for the positioning of the camera. And now it's just a matter of uh, work with uh, the lighting and uh, the fog. Now the scene, it's uh, already start to assemble the final result. You can simply place the light and uh, create the effect you want. Now we are in the final scene. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I've uh, changed. It's uh, really simple. Uh, first of all, I've added this uh, plane here, this background. It's uh, a simple plane, black plane, and uh, I've created this uh, really simple shader with a light path and emission with a mixed shader in order to have a plane that uh, does not reflect the light or the shadow of the, of the scene. We still have the fog box and uh, we still have the lighting from, uh, from before. I've just changed the color of the volume scatter here and uh, increased a little the, the density. I've decreased the, the effect of the, of the area light inside the character and I used the, the camera composition guides in order to help me, for example, here for the, the arms. And uh, last of all, I have just added this uh, monolith here. It's uh, just a simple cube. As you can see the material, it's just a black material without texturing. And uh, it's a, a cube that is scaled. I used a boolean for uh, creating this uh, whole year. And uh, in ZBrush, I've used the same uh, brushes that I use, for example, for the details of the character, as you can see here for the, for the arms. And uh, I have the, the, this um, monolith here, just in order to have uh, uh, props that uh, separate uh, a little bit more the character from the background. Uh, last thing, uh, I've just uh, added a little tint here to this, uh, this light in order to create an interesting effect with the color of the scatter and the color of the light. Regarding the character, instead, there are no changes apart for two little details. I've applied a solidify for this part, uh, for the jacket and uh, the belt, just in order to have a more realistic result. But it's uh, really a, a small uh, details that in uh, render uh, it's uh, barely visible. And this is it for this uh, tutorial. I uh, hope you have enjoyed and find useful this uh, series of lessons. I will try to put it online for free, this uh, character in this scene. So you can check uh, in first person the, the scene and uh, you can use the character as you want. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the NVIDIA channel. Bye.